Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nort, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the yacht in Grand Theft Auto Online and have this yacht in a free mode session for you and your friends to play around with. Of course, if you do go on to enjoy this video, then please don't leave without smashing that like button. Let's try and reach that goal of 1,000 likes. But as you can see right now, we have the yacht, and I'm going to be teaching you exactly how you can get this. So first off, you or your friend is going to want to launch up the Adversary Mode Slasher 3. This is the Adversary Mode where you can play Slasher around the yacht it must be this adversary mode you can do this on playstation 4 xbox one or pc as long as you're in this adversary mode start it up once you and your friend are in it now once you are on this loading screen where you can choose your character you're then going to want to make sure one person backs out it can be you or your friend as long as one person backs out so it kicks both players from the game and once you are back in free mode you will notice in the exact location where the yacht is in slasher the yacht will be spawned in and you'll be able to access it and explore the entire yacht in free mode now I do recommend you guys do this as this is a glitch or a trick, whatever you guys want to call it. It's incredibly simple and easy to do. Some of you guys may have already done this by accident as it is literally just leaving a slasher game mode and the yacht is spawned in. So if you have done it by your accident then this is how it works and this is how you can do it again if you want to do it again. It's a very simple trick, probably the easiest one in the book. It takes about 30 seconds to do, and once the yacht is spawned in, you can explore the entire thing while it's in daylight. All the lights are switched on, and you can actually see where the best hiding spots are as well. This is what I was doing. I scoured out the entire yacht, and I tried to find the best hiding spots. So next time I went to play Slasher, I would know exactly where to go and where to hide. But there's so many other places in the yacht which I didn't know existed once I did do this glitch, so I do recommend you guys do this glitch for your own beneficial use in the adversary mode known as slasher 3 but i also want to mention that this does work on every other slasher mode if you were to do this in the humane labs or in the fib building or any other adversary mode location which slasher is on then of course it will work but you will have to make your way into the building which of course may require a wall breach so if you are planning to do that or if you do know any other wall breach glitches then of course knock yourself out do it on other slasher game modes as well but as of now i only know how to access the yacht as all the doors are open it's in the middle of the ocean and it's incredibly easy to access of course, if you want to have your friend do the glitch with you, he must do the glitch, the exact one he did with you, and be in the exact same session for this boat to spawn in, and he must do the glitch for any other location you guys decide to access as well. Otherwise, your character will look like he's walking in mid-air for your friend who is watching. But nonetheless, the boat is an absolutely insane place to go and explore. Everything is switched on. You can see everything on this yacht, all the detail, and everything is opened up as well. So I do recommend you guys go and check this out and do this glitch for yourself. But guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as you'll never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But guys, my name is Nort and I'll see you all next time.